Welcome back to On The Spot with Stephanie here on The Buzz. With spring break and all those tropical trips coming up right around the corner, we have Claire Collins, founder of Silver Lining Bikinis and soon to be USC grad here in studio, showing us her spring line, which she'll also be displaying on Sunday at USC's Fashion Industry Association Fashion Show in the Ronald Tudor Campus Center. Claire, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, and I see you're wearing one of your pieces. Yes. Show us, show us what you have. Tell us a little bit about your line. Okay, so this is a one piece, and I have uh, three different one pieces, a couple tops and bottoms. I actually brought a few. I'll show you one of the more popular bottoms okay. is this one. It has lace-up side. Oh. Good for many sizes. A little bit cheeky, but it's nice and pretty. I love this. I always love the lace-up sides because I've got wide hips. Oh, come on. <laughs> and then the bottom has these little cowrie shells, which I also wear on my ears. Kind of fun. Super cool. Um, so stripes is a good color. Everyone loves nautical. And then... This one is actually the most popular top. It's a little confusing, so okay. um, maybe we should try it on you. Okay, show me, yeah. Okay. So it goes here. on like a backpack, see? Okay. On. One, nope, one arm here. <laughs> okay. And then the other arm through the back. Okay, all right. Push through. Okay, and then it ties. Let's get rid of this. It ties in the back, but first, uh -oh, lots of straps. Goes around the front. For a good squeeze. Oh, yes. The squeeze is good. The squeeze is good. <laughs> you gotta love it. So anyways, and you can take it off like a backpack or a vest. Very but good. that's one of the more popular ones. Now, I notice in a lot of your pieces, your line is called Silver Lining Bikini. So yeah. we can see a little bit of, about that here. Mm -hmm. And they're lined with silver. So tell me about that. Exactly. So that was kind of one of the ideas. All the brand is about like finding the silver linings and having fun and finding the good in everything. So we figured might as well put it inside all of the swimsuits. So like, for example, this one on the inside has silver. So you can remember to keep the silver lining like close to your heart, a little symbolic. So it's always on the inside to get that close yeah. to the heart vibe. Very exactly. cool. And you also get something special with every bikini. You're not just getting a bikini with each order, right? Right, so we put the bikinis in these rugged and um, they're wrapped in silver tissue paper, tied with the silver bow, and then we have these little fun flowers dangling with them. And in addition, inside each bag has a um, secret little quote, inspiring. You have to buy one to check it out. Oh, okay. Inspiring quote, so just kind of fun little secret additions. Very cool. Now you're doing all of this while being a full-time student, getting ready to graduate at USC, so tell me what it's been like being an entrepreneur and a student at the same time. Yeah. Well, it's been crazy. Like, for example, this morning, after a nap from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m., I woke up to write my Writing 340 essay, which I've been struggling in because all I do is pay attention to the bikinis because it's way more fun for me. Like, I'm actually learning a ton putting all of my schooling to work, especially Excel. Um, but waking up early, it'll wake me up in the middle of the night sometimes, too, thinking, like, oh, I got to do this design or, oh, shoot, I forgot to do this, this and that, running around downtown. But it keeps me very busy. And these, right? Tell me a little bit about these. This is yeah. something a USC resource helped you get these? Right. So being in college is the best thing ever to start a business because I have a huge market in front of me. In a sorority, have the Greek grow, all these contacts at my disposal. And um, these things are from the Roski School. They laser cut them, which was the coolest thing ever. I was sitting in there like learning a total new trade. And I'm from the business school, so these arts and crafts are awesome to me. So taking it back to earlier school, it was actually in high school with your sister that you started this business. Tell us about the origin. Yes, so <laughs> it's kind of a funny story. My sister and I used to sew a ton in high school, and then um, we actually went to all-girls school. So I joined the sewing class. Of course, we have a sewing class taught by a nun, um, just stereotypical. So in that class, we were supposed to start with these pin cushions, very simple and boring, and I wanted to get right into it. So I started sewing, and she hated me <laughs> because I was. She said, "You're." not creative Claire you need to get right back to the work and follow the regiment of patterns and everything but um it ended up working out made our prom dresses and uh even though the what was it sister Jane wasn't a big fan of me I still stay in touch write letters nice and if sister Jane could see you now she could see you now I know so she where are you get mad at me for wearing this on, on there <laughs> Where are you taking these on spring break? You've got to be taking these somewhere special. Yeah, me along with or along with a bunch of other people are taking them to Cabo. Oh, fun. Um, that's kind of where a lot of the kids are going for spring break. Of course, we all know that. And a bunch of girls ordered them, so hopefully you will be seen around the beaches in Cabo. Awesome. Well, thank you for being with us, Claire. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate you spending time with us. 
And make sure you check out her full line on silverliningbikinis.com, as well as this Sunday at USC's FIA Fashion Show at 7 p.m. in the Ronald Tudor Campus Center. And tweet us your spring break style at USC The Buzz, and keep watching right here for everything entertainment news. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you. It was so great to have you here. Thank you.